Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's episode of It's a Dog's Life here on Charisma to AC. We had some pretty wild hijinks in our last episode involving a steam locomotive and and some uh, eh, excitable guru. Mm-hmm. Um, Thalmud isn't joining us today. He's he's on a fishing trip with his family, which is obviously uh, as good a reason as they get for 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 not being able to uh, to attend. Um, but the rest are here. So let's have a recap of the aforementioned hijinks. Yes. Don't even need to mention my name, and I just know, right? That's, that's my cue. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, last time when It's a Dog's Life, we continued our misadventures in the Scar, a, a, a level of the Umbra where everything is industrial decay and misery, in our, and a, a realm inspired, you know, a realm where the powers of the Weaver and the Worm hold precedent. We decided, having had a conversation with a spirit of um, industry and capitalism and all its awfulness, uh, uh, you know, bargaining for something we wanted from him in return for him returning a spirit that he was related to to him, we decided to completely ignore him because we wouldn't trust him with uh, if our, if our life depended on it. And in this instance, it almost did it, but not quite. So instead, we reasoned we'd find another way. But first, we had to try and find a way out of the scar. The way we came in wasn't um, the same way we could get out. So we managed to win over a couple of rat spirits by actually feeding them to the point where they, uh, well, feeding one to the point where he actually felt sated for the first time in its its spiritual little existence. And it's after making our way to a train yard and managing to sneak around some animated gun spirits that we had our, the stats read out for us and basically would have they would have steamrolled us if we confront if we'd gone up against them. We managed to steal a giant uh, 19th century sort of steam train and plough it into a wall of diamonds to escape from the scar, which was quite spectacular, and which we all hope to do again sometime. Uh, having escaped, we had a brief conversation with the younger spirit of uh, industry and capitalism that's not as bad because uh, as, his, as his uncle was, and just you know, discussed with him things that happened. And he gave us the idea that, okay, the power, the means to, um, you may not find the means to counter the power that we were trying to find out about in the Scar, the power of becoming incorporeal that our enemy possesses. So if we want to find something to counter it, we should try and ending up going to the Scar's kind of spiritual thematic opposite, which would be Pangea, a realm of pure creation and wild energy. Yes, so we headed back to the Sept. Uh, where most of us made it back out into the real world, apart from Boo, which was quite surprising. Uh, and we had a conversation with uh, Henrietta, the Sept Alpha, where we talked about you know, how things had gone uh, on both our ends, how what, what our plans were. She mentioned how the um, Hoken of the uh, Hard Riders Blade Sept had basically called up and given his list of demands because... He's a, a get of Fenris uh, Sept Alpha male, so of course he's going to give demands to anyone who is not uh, himself. And um, yeah, basically to aid us in our quest, she has bequeathed to, to us a uh, a bone dagger fetish, which mm-hmm. can be very powerful if used by someone with the with the correct amount of, of gnosis to use it. Which in this case, at the moment is only Boo. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yes. But like, a, a fang dagger is ex- extremely powerful, but it does require six points of gnosis to be able to activate. It does, so that's definitely something that um, Barry wanted to save up for. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, we decided to head back to uh, to head back to St Benedict's home for the uh, shelter for the homeless, which we um, we just checked on how things were going. And got some more plot threads to follow in the form of a one of the uh, one of the homeless people who frequented it, Thousand Yard Pete, who is actually kinfolk to the Bone Noise, has been missing for about as long as the news of St. Benedict's uh, imminent closure has been around, which is worrying. And also, Mrs. Wilson pointed out that there was a rumour and uh, that there had been a substantial amount of money thrown towards... Uh, sort of York City Hall 
and the local government to uh, basically keep the whole business of buying up the land hush hush so that people couldn't you know react to it until it was too late and you know the kind of it was the, the kind of the kind of backdoor politi- politicking that if it was revealed to the general public and to the right sort of powers could ruin any attempts by Sonderbau to uh, to do what they intend to do and would obviously would have the somewhat negative effect of further eroding local trust in local government but then British people have always been sceptical of the local government at the best of times so um, yeah so we've got three plot threads um, uncover the uncover evidence of corruption between the local government and Sonderbau with the hopes of further hindering Sonderbau and Pentex's efforts to gain a foothold in the city find our missing kinfolk and then go on an epic quest into a into a wild realm of the Umbra to find a means to counteract this powerful uh, gift that the Black Spiral Dancer in charge of well, the, the the big bad uh, the big bad evil werewolf uh, is um, is is parading around with wherever he's gotten to. And I believe we last time had agreed that we were going to uh, in another moment of what uh, you know decided to split the party. Uh, to, Perhaps a little stupidly, but um, yeah, split the party to uh, to try and achieve the, f- the the mundane objectives in 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 quick order. And that was where we left off, and we seem to have lost. Uh, we seem to have lost Keras. Not quite sure how that happened, but yeah, that's basically where we're at. Yes. Uh... Do we want to find out where Keras is gone, or do we want to yeah, just we, get... Yeah, we, we kind of need to have uh, everyone here. Yes. I hope she's okay. That's probably just a connection thing. That's true. Uh, she's visiting a friend who I believe lives out in the sticks. Yeah, so... Mm-hmm. Connection is bound to be jumpy. Yeah. Unfortunate. It's... So, yeah. Uh, well, we won't, we won't start, but I would advise perhaps suggest to um, you two, to Rasmus and I. I mean, we, we did discuss who was going to be going where last time. Are we still up for splitting the party into two groups, or do we want to tackle one thing at a time as a united front? I'd be fine with splitting up, but I do know, and I do need to know how long has passed and have I recovered will point power. Well. That's um... a good point. It has been a day, so you get one willpower back. You weren't there last time, right? Mm. So you get an extra one. All right, then I need to do a willpower roll. Yes, do that. Ooh, Ooh. one Yay. success. You succeed. Yes, you All do right. not do not wander around in a in a catatonic um, PTSD fuel state. Exactly. So, what are the groups? Who can well, I join? Who well, be last? well, originally the plan had been to have um, um, Xander, who's good with um, with tech, go with Boo, who's good at stealth, and deal with the city hall investigation side of things. But and then Barry as a as a magic werewolf and uh, Molly as a uh, combat werewolf. Would go to searching for um, go searching for Thousand Yard Pete, and you know hope he's okay. If he's not, find out what did him in, and then do that in in turn. So yeah, since we're now lacking com- our computer whiz werewolf uh, and to balance out the group, we can go with Boo. But if you prefer to go searching for Pete, then one of me or Molly, I suppose, can go with um, can go with Boo. Let me see. Frankie has. A few rank, a uh, single rank in science and technology, but nothing in computers. Um, mm-hmm. Do you have any in investigation? Let's have a look. What the fuck is investigate? No, I don't. Okay. Um, so what exactly was the task? We'll basically go to City Hall. Mm-hmm. And search through because again, uh, Fox Freak can't find any evidence or any electronic evidence of this alleged corruption. So if there is evidence of it, it'll be in paper format. So we're going to City Hall in and finding which that. In case, I won't necessarily that. need my computer skills. No, uh, stealth skills would certainly be useful, but that's I have those. Oh, there you go then. Oh sure, I can take Blue for a walk. I mean, 
I assume, Boo, that you're still happy to go ahead with that plan. Woof. I'll take that as a yes. Okay. Going to the park? Are we going to the park? The park? I mean, if, ball, if the ball, park... If, ball? I mean, if, <laughs> if, if, if the park ball, is a... Is a big, you know, and if, 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 if the park is a big stone building that's also called City Hall, then yes, you're going to the park. Yes! Yeah. Yes, We're going to get, the park! Yes, and then you get those like, I was betrayed in the most personal... Betrayal! <laughs> yeah, that's 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 Barry. He's manipulative. He's a manipulative, scheming son of a bitch. He'd make sh he makes shadow lords quail at his ruthlessness. It's fine. I'll sit on him later. Yes, that's fair. Um, since step that's on his toes. All right. Since that's the split up, and I know this is me taking initiative. Um, yeah, we've no idea. We've no idea when Kirsten's going to get back. Um, is it worth? We do not. This is true. Is it worth starting and just starting with yeah, those we, two we, now? We, we will we will get going with with those who are here and then hopefully we'll hopefully Karis will manage to rejoin us. Yes. All right. That'll be fun. All right. So, just to be on the uh, um, on on to be completely sure, I got this right. Uh, Boo and. Frankie will be heading to the park, or will be heading out to to look for for um, for Pete. Was that right? Was that right? Uh, I think it's the other way around. Oh, the other way around. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, no. Um, because they are the best at stealth. Yes. Uh, I'd reason they'd be best to tackle City Hall looking for evidence oh, right, because right. they could be ground, yes. and then Barry and Molly can yeah. search for Pete because All right, if that they. Was how if it was, yeah, if they run across something nasty, they can they can try to kill it. Yes, that is a good point. Um, well, let us uh, start out with the stealthy ones then, in the hopes that Karis manages to rejoin us before um, before we get to that point, and and we can try pinging her on 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 Discord or something. But it looks like she lost connection completely. Yeah, yeah, she's entirely offline. Yeah. Hmm. In that case, I have a question. Yes, let's hear it. Because I think I've seen, you know, in certain areas of America, uh, they might help homeless people with, like, getting outfits for job interviews and shit like that. Is that a service that's provided by the people we know? Uh, you can, yeah, you can borrow nicer clothes at, at St. Benedict's. They have a, a few... You know a few outfits so that you can look a little more presentable for stuff like that but it's only for 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 loan but but in that case i think uh frankie might have uh, attempted to acquire such yes because if we're gonna fit in at city hall and not well look like bums yes uh it might be nice to have i don't know a, a dress shirt or something mm -hmm. yes so you are uh you are wearing clothes that are you know, I mean, they're they're not top of the line, obviously, or anything, but they're nice and clean, and yeah. and and fit you. Um, it would have been uh, next to impossible to find something that would actually fit. Um, boo. True. Uh, I'm her... just her pampered pooch. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. I I imagined that you were going to be the the uh, the doggo. Mm -hmm. Um. The thing, of course, is the doggos are not allowed inside City Hall. No? no. <laughs> <gasps> How um, dare they? I uh, promise I, not to pee on the floor. I guess that means we'll just have to find another way in than, you know, just walking in. Yeah, well, you can just walk in yourself, obviously, but, but Boo is going to have to find an alternative route inside. Hmm. I've been good at that before. I can do so again. Sure. Uh, well, that's that's always, of course, going through the Umbra. I, but I'm not particularly certain how such a place of bureaucracy would look in uh, in the Umbra. Very, very weavery. Hmm. It it wouldn't necessarily be dangerous, but the uh, but the um, the the gauntlet would likely be very high. Right. Um, which means Frankie would have a hard time. Yeah, you just walk in, I can go through the umbra. Meet you in the um the um closest um bathroom then or something like that. Sure. 
then um, that's what I'll do. All right. And I think to complete, like, the the, I, the, the illusion, Frankie will also have her hair up in a bun or something like that. Yes. Maybe well, even some glasses. When, when you enter, there yes. is a reception area, obviously. Yes. So basically, they, there's a, a a desk where a couple of um, civil servants are are located, basically um, uh, asking you and anybody else who's there what your business at City Hall is, so that they can direct you to the right people. So the problem right. here being, of course, that. You don't just walk in, you know, straight into to the, the center of it. However, mm-hmm. however, city hall meetings are open to the public. And there, you know, the city council meetings are open mm-hmm. to the public. And there is supposedly one today, or at least most of them are open to the public. And the one today is, there's a, a notice that... The meeting is 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 uh, is today, and it's basically it will start in in twenty minutes. So perfect. It's almost as if we've timed it. Yeah. We well, in- accidentally did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, accidentally did it on purpose. I like that. Uh, yeah, I will. Um, I don't know. Um, walk up to to um, to a receptionist, smiling, and to inform them that I'm here for the uh, meeting. Oh, the, the... right. Well, she gives you a um, uh, like a uh, uh, like a what's it called? It's not a necklace, but you hang it around your neck with a with a like a visitor's pass. Exactly, it's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah, a visitor's. It's a, it's a lanyard. lanyard. Yeah, lanyard. that's a lanyard. Yes, that's exactly right. And the you... only reason I know that is because I fell over the name before. I'm like, the fuck is that, and why is that around his neck? <laughs> <laughs> But that's that, you. You get one of those, um, and you get told to follow the yellow line on the floor, uh, and that'll yellow take brick you to, road. Yes, and that'll take you to the to the uh, to the correct uh, place. Right, and of course, because I need to to not disrupt this, I also ask her where the nearest um, women's bathroom is. Oh, of course. Uh, she uh, she points you down the same hallway where you would have to be going anyway, and then uh, you know she says it's it's down there and about ten meters, and then to the right. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I shall uh, shall go there. Yes. Perhaps wobbling a little bit in 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 heels. Probably a little. You're not used to them after all. No. They're they're not they're they're they wouldn't have lent you like very high heels, but but probably in, like a pair of nice business pumps. heels. Yeah, business heels. Yeah, I think Frank is more used to wearing like heavy boots. Yeah, but, uh... exactly. She feels like she's floating now. Like they're so light. <laughs> and um, then I shall see if I can uh, find my boo. Well, we shall have to see Boo give us a roll for getting in and out of the Umbra, respectively. And the uh, the difficulty is a uh, a whopping seven. Mm. I'm not going to let her wait for an hour, so I'll uh, use a whoop. Yes. A good you know, idea. just to be sure. <laughs> There you go. go. You get, you get there. I I get in there. Yes. And then I go in search of a toilet. And you find one pretty easily. It's not far from the entrance. There are numerous spirits here. Uh, there are. It's, it's a very busy place. Oh. Oh. That's a problem because I'm scatterbrained. Uh. What is it I have to roll to not lose my fucking way? Uh, Absent-minded... I forget important things like names, phone numbers, and which route to take to the Cairn. You also forgot what I'm been assigned. What day or certain <coughs> time things are happening. Whoops. I have to make an intelligence roll. And the difficulty is set by the storyteller. 
Yeah, I'll give the same difficulty for that, so I'll go with seven. Because this is interesting. In fact, the b behind the counter, behind the desk where where Frankie just you know spoke to her, a civil servant, there uh -huh. is the largest web spider you have ever seen. Oh, it's about nope. the same size as you in in uh, in uh, uh, in lupus form. I've forgotten wow. everything. I am just fascinated by this ginormous fuck off spider. Like, oh, mm -hmm. sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> it it uh, it it swats at you with a with a leg. It's clearly not interested in being. No, it wants to play. In, in, being, <laughs> in being disturbed, it's it's doing important work or whatever it is doing, but it's at least not interested in in getting in, interrupted. Yeah, for her mind, it just it's twatted at her, so now it wants to play. Oh dear. Well, what? So do there you is see? barking and jumping around and front in the ground and ass in the air and wild wagging oh because dear. it's playtime. Yes, and the the spider. <clears throat> you don't have spirit speech, right? Mm -mm. No. So you don't understand what it is the spider is trying to communicate at you, but it is clearly getting agitated. And play with me, play with me! Boing, doing, doing, doing. Eventually it turns around and shoots a strand of spider silk at you to try to web you, to keep you from no! disturbing it. So you get to roll me a dodge. Oh, that's... Dex Athletics? Dex Athletics, indeed. Yes. We'll see if I am uh, lucky. Let's uh, hope you are. Athletics. Otherwise, I'm caught there for a while. <laughs> uh, standard difficulty? Standard difficulty. <clears throat> I have nothing that can help me here. No. There we go. Two successes. Let's see if I can beat that. She's good at sneaking, that's about it. Holy shit. I can beat that. I roll four successes. Yeah, you do. So I'm stuck. Yes. You, no. you you get you get webbed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And and it 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 makes it very, very difficult for you to actually move or get, you know, the, the spider then basically proceeds to ignore you mightily while it continues its important work. <laughs> Does the bestest heave and ends up face planting. <laughs> yep. You, no. ca you can. Ooh. You could. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It, it dawns on you after a while, and it does take you a while, <laughs> that if if maybe if you changed into Krenos, it would actually burst the, the webbing, but unless you... Oh, do, I do so! Yes. That works! So, so you, you break free of it, um, uh, it, it happens, it, it does so automatically, and the, 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 but the spider gets agitated again, when it sees the Krenos, because it's like, oh, wow, you're, you know, big and dangerous now and stuff. Uh, so yeah, turn my nose up at it and walks off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's... <laughs> like, fuck that, you! That spider is clearly not interested in playing. It was rude. Mm -hmm. you, find, you find the bathroom not long after. Yeah, I take the one without skirt on, because I'm not wearing a dress. <clears throat> Yeah, that means you go into the men's bathroom, obviously. I'm not wearing a dress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I remember not to come out of the fucking, uh, you know, umbras of Krenos. Yes. Werewolf. I choose a person, you know, yeah. because that looks a little bit better. And yeah. then I pop out. <laughs> <laughs> At least I tried to. Okay, let's give. Let's see the roll to get out. Difficulty is still yes. seven. Uh, still a toughie. 
I'm kind of happy we have a muted Chris because apparently he's dying from laughter. Mm -hmm. I get out! You get out! I didn't even have to use more willpower on it. No, no, you get out. Which of course means that now we have <sighs> seven feet of Homid Boo, distinctly female, in the how men's is, room. How is she dressed? The way I was dressed before? So a pair of pants and a shirt? <laughs> Some so, shoes? Yeah, so she's she's probably looking somewhat disheveled because it you know yeah. homeless and all that. But but the worst problem isn't really right now how she's dressed, it's the fact that she's face to face with a sixty year old man in the men's room. Hi! Oh, Miss, I think you've entered the wrong... Uh, this is the men's room. Oh, no, no, I'm not wearing a dress. No, Once no, this is out. the men's room. <laughs> and he's, he, hmm. he's, he's she quite... looks thoughtful for a moment that no men could menstruate. Because apparently he was very like it was the menstruate room. <laughs> oh, well. She, she walks out because, you know, yeah. she remembers that Frankie was wearing a dress. Yes. And then knocks on the other bathroom. <laughs> well, nobody answers, I guess, unless Frankie does, but somebody knocks at the door. I imagine it's not one of those single stall bathrooms. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, if Frank, you'll go look. Because Hi! He's, he's, you, you get pulled in. Where have you been? Have I'm you been? sorry, I got distracted. Of course you did. Um, there was a giant spider! Where were you? Well, I was trying to play with a giant spider. No, after I didn't that, wanna. You, should, you should have come in here. No, I went to the one without the dress. Because I'm not wearing a dress. Uh, this is for men. Why? Uh, um, because historically men have worn pants. I don't know. It just but, is. But I'm. But the thing was wearing pants, and I was wearing pants. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can't get. Uh, um. You two legs are weird. Yeah, uh, we need to get into the, the, um, the archive or something like that. Did you know the very old man next door was menstruating? There was a man next door. He kept saying, it's menstruating. No, no, I it's think. the men's I room. I wasn't really listening, I have cobweb in my ears. He probably said it was the men's room. What, did oh. you look important? What? Did he look important? Uh, he looked old. Uh, How can you tell if they look important? Ah, uh, right. Could you... He didn't uh, smell important. <laughs> I think Frankie just leaves the bathroom. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> what she wants to do is to... Uh, in, in, when slash if this, this elderly gentleman exits the bathroom... Uh, she wants to entirely coincidentally. Uh, actually, I should ask something first. Does this uh, this place use like key cards or something like that? Uh, yes, for for offices and and uh, you know, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, in that case, I want to entirely coincidentally bump into him. You know, the good old pickpocket method. Okay, let's see you try a pickpocket. Uh, that is that... that is larceny plus dexterity. Right. Um, let's see what I can do. I'm proud it's... that for all the things Boo can do, she doesn't have anything in larceny. <laughs> all right. Uh... Wow. Whoa. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, you, you managed to get in possession of a keycard. You are suspiciously good at it. <laughs> I think Frankie might have tried that before. <laughs> As I said, you're suspiciously good at it. Yeah. 
The two, of course, apologize profusely to this uh, elderly gentleman for having bumped into him. And, yes. And then, uh, you know, hurry him on his way. And then we will happen to go the opposite way, so when he finds out his card is missing, we're not nearby. Yes. Although, admittedly, he, he, he will not have a hard time describing at least one of you to anybody in the... Uh... True. So, anyways, the um, you're looking for the archives, you said. I am. Um, uh, I don't suppose when I entered there was a helpful... You're here and here's the entire layout of our building? Uh, no. No, I didn't think so. There, there are signs, you know, along the walls and so on. So you, you do find one that leads to the archives eventually. Right. In that case, Frankie will look to, um, to Boo and say, So, the trick here is that we need to just, well, act as if we belong here. So just, um, I don't know, walk as if you have somewhere to be. Why Couldn't you? I just be invisible to them? You can do that. Blur of the milky eye. Okay, can you move while you're doing that? Mm. I think so, but let's check it. It doesn't say that I have to be standing still for it. Nope, so you can move. Uh, it's basically just an extra thing on stealth. Yeah. So to activate it... Uh, I roll... Manipulation and... What was it? Stealth. Difficulty 8. Each success increases the difficulty of all perception rolls to made to Sorry. detect him. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. I'm not good at manipulation. No, but you are pretty good at stealth. This is true. Uh, manipulation and stealth, and it's an 8. Ooh. Minus 1 success! Ooh. Well, interesting. Is... Oh, I have the difficulty at eight. Yes. There is one. Uh, one, six, seven. Yeah, one, six, seven. Oh, it seven. is an eight. Is so there is minus one. Yes. Um, well, that's not helping me then. No, that, uh, that botch uh, means that you can't um, uh, try it again. Basically, you can't use that gift for the rest of the day. Mm, yeah. Makes sense. But I can still do a stealth roll, though. Absolutely, absolutely. I am the sneakster. And I scroll too fast. I need to set down the sensitivity of my mouse. There we go! Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As if you need right. the milky eye. <laughs> Uh, well, in that case... Mm. Oh, there is tense on it, because I have... Uh, yep. Uh, I can roll one more then, because I have... Mm -hmm. Basically... basically. There we go! How, Eight. Do have, how do you have six in your attribute? Oh! I forgot to change from his bow! Oh. Ah! I'm yeah, a you, dumb! You'll have to reroll that keep... one, unfortunately. I'm sorry! It's I'm fine, dumb! It's fine. It's fine. I forgot that! Mm. Uh, where did I do it? There, I have a specialization, yes. There. There are That's five! Still five successes is still very, very good. <laughs> I'm Frank, Frank, yeah, yeah, Frankie, just, Frankie, just, Frankie just turns to us and where, where, did, where did Boo go? Yes. The only reason she knows he's there is because they're sneaky, sneaky, mm. sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Boo is being very hard to, to notice right now, despite her, her prodigious size. Um, right. they, which is very well done. I also don't look like I actually belong. Mm -hmm. No, and you just stay hidden, and I'll just pretend I belong. Yes. And you get to the um, you get to the uh, to the archive where a 
a couple of uh, of people are sitting a uh, an older woman and a younger man um they both look like they work there and they yeah. look up when 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 uh Frankie enters and and goes um so what can we help you with hi um I was sent to get some uh, documents. Uh, right. Uh, which documents? Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I knew. Um, I, I'm going to to need some documents on what was the area called, uh, John? Uh, the All Saints Church area. Uh, pertaining to recent business in the All Saints Church area. Oh. Oh right, 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 right. Um, but that is an on that is an ongoing process. We don't have those here yet. Oh, that's probably my misunderstanding. Where do we need to go then? You'll probably need to go and find it with the the uh, uh, the council member who's in in charge of of the of the proceedings. But I think, if I'm not completely mistaken, that that would be Councilman Sands. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for, for, for wasting your time. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. We were all new at some point, she says. Um, well, I, I should get going then. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. She, you know, she, you, you get a, a bit of a, a, the kind of smile that you would, it's not overbearing, it's more... You know, it's it's kindly. It's like it's all right. We were all new at this at some point or other, sort of. Yeah, it's the uh, oh, I remember being young and new and yes. not knowing where the fuck to go. Oh, those young times. Young and new and stupid. Yes. Also, yes. hi guys. Sorry, hi my connection absolutely dipped for a while. It's no problem. It's all right. We we figured that you would be back at some point, so we started out with the people who went the other way. Yeah. Good thinking. Yes. And and uh, we have now been with them for a little while, so while they go looking for Councilman Sands, we shall actually join the other two for a little bit, I think. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So we join Barry and Molly. And what are you guys going to do to locate your missing kinfolk? I, 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 I choose to believe that we ha get like just get this shot of like Molly and Barry and then there was a conversation going on and it's just okay boomer <laughs> it's the mm. first thing. i was about to say the first thing the first thing that's going to happen while we're searching is that we're going to have another we're going to have another um young young you know, younger generation versus older generation debate again because that's apparently molly's favorite <laughs> form of entertainment um, <laughs> all right but yes the point is that um uh we have to go searching for um, for thousand yard Pete. Do we know, aside from the because um, he is kinfolk, I'm sure we would have. I imagine we'd have at least some idea. Do you know where he his haunts would be apart from St Benedict's? Yes, yes, you do. Um, and it's actually a place that is well known to you, uh, Barry, because he hangs out down by the river, pretty close to the ghost walk where, um, where yeah. you were on the night of your first change, but that's his usual haunt. He, he kind of quote unquote lives under the, uh, the, the ooze bridge. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that's about the first place I suggest we look and, um, yeah. I don't know if I've mentioned to. Um, I don't know if I've even told Molly um, the story of my first change or not. But um, yeah, the point is, as we're getting there, I basically say, oh, "No, no, be here quite well. Actually, I had my first change down there." Oh, really? Yep. How I got after how I got my deed name. Uh, had a change. All very confusing. Then uh, had a couple of. Uh, had a couple of vampires try and think thought they were tough enough to take me, and ended up. Uh, Slashing one up and chucking him so far that he ended up, uh, well, wasn't much left of him afterwards. Well, uh, good on you, I suppose. Mm. So, uh, the, the, the defenestration just seemed a little bit too long then? Yeah, well, possibly. Because honestly, that's kind of a cooler word than yeet, but that's just me. 
True, but then <laughs> it's more tongue in cheek, and there's, there's something that Bill Noir is more about being tongue in cheek than epic, aren't we? Meh. Can't we be both epic in cheek or something? Uh, I suppose, but it takes a takes a special Tongue kind of takes a special kind of uh, commitment. That I'm not prepared to go through. Besides, it's more Meh. recent. It's a recent addition, to be fair. It didn't wasn't originally Yeats Vampire. That was the more recent change we made. Mm -hmm. what, you, you try, you're trying to fit in with the younger generation. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm more of it. <laughs> well, it's just you know, you you kind of give the this uh, this aura of um, how do you do, fellow kids? Uh, when was that other character? When was that? When was that? Um, what, what, what year was the clip of that film? That, um, that the, the film or TV show I have that clip? No for? earthly idea. Because I don't know if it's something that Barry would even be aware of. It's kind of like, what? <laughs> anyway, no point is, yeah. Either way, I have to, let's hope we can find some trace of him down there. So yes, we he heads down to the. Yeah. To old, yeah, memories. Uh, old, old memories and uh yeah. and apparently from 2012 by the way all right oh, really okay in that case yeah he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't know about it and from for um perhaps not too surprising he isn't there no i suspect he would be yeah but, but his us... but his or at least part of his camp still is but it's been left there clearly unattended for several days so there have been scavengers mm -hmm. well that's not great no but it is something to begin working with so the point is we can we have our we have our werewolfy abilities we might be able to find something that could help us track him mm. fair enough so you trying that's, to catch uh... his scent or something Catch a scent, look for clues amongst what the little remains of the camp. Um, I don't know, find a, like a scrap of cloth. Yeah, kind of find evidence of foul play, any of the, any and all of the above, really. What you do find is actually better than a scrap of cloth. Oh. Uh -huh. You find a picture of him. Interesting. Um, a photo of Thousand Yard Pete. Wow. Along with... Um, and along with a a woman and a young young man or not he's not a child it's clear he can't be it, it, it can't be a wife and child because the ages are somewhat off the the, the, um, the, the the kid is too old compared to Pete in the photo All right but it's th there is a um, it is by a house, and you can recognize the um, the style of of uh, the the building style as belonging in a certain part of York. Mhm. Mm well, that's something. Hmm. More than something. That's actually. That's a, oh. At least we have a very, we can narrow down the search area. I wonder. I wonder who these two are. I well, suppose we can uh, figure that out. Okay, so do we know which area? Yeah. Uh, you 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 recognise where you need to go to to find the the, the general. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I just. I, um, in that case, we shall go there. Yes. Or head, head in that direction. Yes. And you f you find the place pretty easily. They are um, they are houses that are built uh, to to a system. Yeah. So so they're like old uh, factory workers' homes, basically. Mm -hmm. Got to love old fashioned urban planning. Exactly. That's that's the thing. Um, but when you get there, you realize that quite a lot of the of the buildings in the picture are no longer there. They have been torn down and replaced by more modern housing, but there are still some of them left. Mm -hmm. 
The photo, is it black and white or colour? Black and white. Mm. And I just think the thousand yard Pete looks noticeably younger in he, the photo. He does, but Pete, as it says, is a lifer and that really yeah. takes it out. So you, you, you also happen to know Pete is actually only in his late 40s. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But, but, you know, living on the streets ages you rapidly. Yeah, I mean, for goodness sake, look at Barry. He's meant to be only 29, and he looks like he's already approaching, uh, getting towards his late 30s, early 40s. Yeah. So, yeah. Fine. Well, let's see if we can't find one that, for the last few at match. Hmm. Yeah, right behind you. Give me an... Ooh, actually, give me a second here. Okay. Sorry, by the way, I'm getting distracted because of this cat, which really wants my attention. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a cat. What do you expect? Yes. Exactly. But it's purring so much. Uh, that's that that. I I can appreciate that it's distracting, but at the same time, I wouldn't I wouldn't complain. I I, I miss having a cat in my life. Oh, kitty. there it is. Hello. Hello, kitty. Yes, yes, that is, and that is the closest interaction that, that our dear storyteller will ever have with a cat, willingly. Pretty much. <laughs> um, there is a uh, a need here for a, an investigation plus intelligence role. Uh, uh, that's a little bit. That's one of my less effective skills, so I'm going to spend a willpower point to gain sure. a success. Sure. Investigation plus intelligence. Uh, Second, and the difficulty. The difficulty is six. Let me see if I can actually get this open. Because on the phone, Ooh. roll twenty and everything. So that's two successes that total. Is two then. successes, yes. Uh, was that perception plus investigation? Uh, intelligence. Intelligence. Uh oh, boy. Yes, I know. It's like not what I'm spec for either. But you, if you want to, you can spend a willpower as well. Uh, yeah, probably best. And then... See? Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Okay, well, you, you, you obviously don't have a specialization, so you're not rolling them on, but that's three successes with the... Uh... Yep. That's actually pretty good. Between the two of you, you, you managed <laughs> to pick out enough of, you know, the, like in the background of the building, you can see some electrical um, uh, uh, towers, you know, like, like mm-hmm. um, and you can also see like, just like the edge of an old water tower, mm. just the corner of it. And you can still see the water tower is still there. So... It's a matter of finding the you know a building that fits with this this uh, this angle. Yeah. And the thing is, what you locate is an empty lot. There's there's um, where the building mm. is supposed to be. There is an empty building lot. Oh. Okay. But it looks like somebody is preparing to build stuff there. Um, because there is, like, you know, uh, building materials are, are gathered there. So somebody mm-hmm. is getting ready to build a new a new home. Uh, is there any labeling as to the company that's doing this building? Yes, funnily enough. Wouldn't you believe it? It's Sonderbau. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. Who could have seen that coming? Mm-hmm. Yep. Which means this entire area is likely also a, a point of control for them. So it's got to go. It's got to go. What? Sorry. So keep on your toes for now. Yeah. Yes. But also, we'll be prepared to burn it down later. We're very good at burning things down. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can always just set a fire if you want. I, I I suspect there are people still relatively innocent people living in this area that we don't want to kill. So drive out all the people and then burn everything down. Is that Late, what later? We're we're trying to stay under the radar and find our friend before we worry about declaring our eco terrorist intentions to the world. And I'm saying that out of character, by the way. I'm not talking about no, eco terrorism no. in character. I, yes, because you I know, mean, honestly, I'm, 
I'm still just a being man. a very self-aware. Uh, yes, like, Barry. Hey, Barry is still a wanted man. Even... Let's just fucking. Yeah, let's just. I mean, <laughs> that's the point. Is that again, he's a bone gnawer, and he he's he's not going to be he's not going to mince words about it. That is basically what uh, for all that you know we 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 ascribe noble intentions to the werewolves on a certain level. That is basically what they are. Yes. They can, they can, they can try to minimise um, innocent casualties, and a lot of the time um, we do, and werewolves do if they're played by characters. But there, there are plenty of examples where you know, um, plenty acceptable, of, uh, plenty of, of 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 casualties involved. Yes, yes, quote unquote acceptable losses. Anyway, so yeah, we'll um, have a look around this building site then for uh, any further clues. And of course, as a good point, if we can't find any in the real world because it's all been paved over and um, sonderbowled, we could always have a look in the Umbra to see if there's like a spiritual imprint that still remains. You try looking in the Umbra. Uh, first, we'll look in the in the, yes. in the in the physical world, and then if that there's if there's all... nothing to be found in the physical world. Umbra it is then. I mean, I'm prepared to go in. Is is Molly going to join or? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right. She's not super good at umbra stuff, but yeah. Yes. Uh, again, I wish that I could. I wish I could share my glasses with you, but you mentioned that fetishes are tied to the individual, so. Yes. Yeah. That's fair. All right. So yeah, he's like. Um, it's not too difficult to enter the umbra in this place, despite Sonderbau being present. Perhaps they haven't made an imprint just yet, but the difficulty well, is only five. Yes, I suppose the fact oh, that they've okay. not actually started building with the materials means that it's just kind of. Okay, I will roll my Gnosis then, and yes. I've got my Mirror Shade, so the difficulty will be three for me. Yes. Uh, difficulty five. Ooh, I've been nice. rolled nothing but ones. There you go, you both get in. Yep, nice and easy. Nice and easy. And... And, what, and what fresh hell awaits us inside? <laughs> N- no hell awaits you inside, uh, oh, but there, the, 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 there is... It's not a hell, but it's uh, it, there is the remains of a house there, but okay. it's in an advanced stage of of decrepitude. Yes. Um, more importantly, though, there's also a thousand yard pea. In the umbra. In the umbra, sitting on the uh, like the low fence. There's like a stone fence around the 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 building. He's sitting there and he's looking at this, the remains of this building. How? Because it is, strictly speaking, possible for strong kinfolk to get a single point of gnosis. Oh. He probably ran when he got attacked or something. And it is possible for them to learn... You know, you can even learn a single uh, gift as a, yeah. as, a, as, a, um, as a kinfolk. Wow. Which means that stepping sideways is something... They can't, but the point is, they they can't normally do that. No, normally they, they can't normally step sideways. So there's something to ask. Mm-hmm. Pete. Oh. Hi. Hi, Pete. Good to see you. You doing all right? No. My sister died. Ah. Uh, when does it talk uh, about it? Sorry, what did you say there, Karis? I, I didn't catch it. Uh, very like, kind of awkwardly going. Like, you you you, you want to talk about it? Uh, well, there was a fire. The kid got out. He's living with his dad now. But. She didn't make it out. Now they tore the house down. Those blooming feckers are going to build something on top of it. It was a nice little house. Oh, it was. Um, Barry says, and he, he comes over to Pete and he holds out the... Um... He holds out the pho- photo oh, right. for him. Oh, you found it. Yeah, but down by your down by your pad by the uh, by the the bridge. Oh. 
Guess I haven't been back for a few days. No, we yeah. wor we've been worried about you, mate. We came looking for you because of that. Look, Pete, um... How'd you manage to get here? Oh, begin with this. He takes out, he's got around his neck, he's got a little, um... It, it's, it's a necklace, but it's very shiny. Mm. It, it, it looks like uh, a polished mirror surface uh, piece of of, um, of metal. Ah. Uh, yeah. I used this. I was given this as a present many years ago. That's, yeah. quite, that's quite some present. It is. Well, who gave, who gave it to you? Roderick. Ah. Uh, um, course he wasn't always you, an asshole did you 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 know what you you did hear the news right what news ah oh, fuck i'm sorry I'm sorry to bring more bad news to you mate but roderick roderick went down fighting the same bastards that are behind what happened to your house they're trying to get a hold in this city and we're trying to fight back. But His bottom lip begins to quiver. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. This I think, ain't um, right. This ain't right. No, no it ain't. Big Molly uh, like, kind of walks over and goes to give him a hug. Yeah. He, he, he very gratefully takes it and, and begins to weep quietly. Hmm. <laughs> These bastards just keep taking everything from us. Yeah. And I'm no use in a fight. Or I'd be fighting back. I'll just have to fight back harder for you, mate. You will do that. Get Everything we can. Me. Thank you. You keep, you keep safe. You check in with Miss Wil Mrs. Wilson and all the others and just, you know... Oh, right. She must be worried. She yeah. was. She was, and but she'll be glad to see you. We all will. And you know, it's folk like you what we're fighting for. We're trying to keep St. Benedict safe. We're, so we have at least one home to come back to, you know? Yeah. Uh, I I tried to go to City Hall to talk to them about it, but there was only one person who wanted to talk to me. Hmm. Who was that then? It was a, a councilman, Sans. Alright, what did he say? He was quite quite willing to listen to me actually. He said he'd mm. he'd put up a real stink. Alright. Well, we've got a couple of our mates you know, um Charlie and Frankie from the shelter, they've gone up there as well and Oh Frankie's right. Frankie's gone put on a bet gone and put on a nice well, he wouldn't know that. But you know, there's two two of them. They'll be, they can speak to this 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 Sands and maybe make some progress on that end as well. We can keep we're going to keep pushing. I I we're, took I took something I know I shouldn't have, but I I figured they always have more copies. I I took something from his desk when when he wasn't looking. You still have it? Yeah, I do. He he digs into his into his coat jacket and takes out a piece of paper. Uh, Barry, you fucking brilliant bastard! Yes. Oh, um, may I? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. So he'll have a Barry will have a look at what was what he's nicked. Uh, it's uh, a. Pete, it's I, a, oh, sorry. Go on, please. Uh, you, you, you go ahead first. You go ahead. It's it's a letter which is um, on official. Uh, it's on official Sonderbau letterhead. All oh, right. Uh, and it's an invitation for a. Um, it 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 never mentions money. Mm. But it's an invitation for an informal meeting to discuss the All Saints Church area situation. Hmm. I see. Molly, have you look at this? 
I think I think Wally sees it and I guess a little smirk and goes, "Well, Pete, looks like you made the good news." I did. If you, if you, if you, I mean, it it helps us. That's for sure. Well, then you keep it. It's just a piece of paper to me. Yeah, but listen, if if you ever swipe something again, swipe something like this, because but yeah. <laughs> This is uh, this is useful. He, he gives you a small smile, but he's obviously still very sad about everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is more as a kind of like, yeah, you know, like, you know, cowboy kind of. Yeah. It's, um, we um, Molly, we need to go and we need to go and find. We might need to go after the others if if these people are writing letters to this councillor. Then there may be more to there may then his uh, his motive. Well, let's just say we may we may not be so cut and dry as to who he's who he's helping. So we need to go and make sure that others are okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh... How about we go back to the shelter okay. with you, and, and then we can go and do that. Be right, right. That's a good idea. When was the last time you ate, mate? Uh, I brought some food with me, but I ran out, so it's been a little while. All right. Um, yep, it's uh, cooking time. Uh, this, is, this, this, is, this is my go-to thing. I'm going to do this every session from now on. I'm just going to make food. This is... yeah. Find a reason to use that gift. Yes, you do realise this technically means I'm now more team mom than team dad. Technically. I mean, <laughs> you you can be either and still be a boomer, so it doesn't change anything from plus, my perspective. Mm. Plus, plus, of course, let's let's not get stuck in old-fashioned gender roles here. This is true. That's a, that's a good point. Thank you, thank you for um for breaking me out of that uh, out of that momentary lapse I, of sanity. I, I mean, exactly. clearly, 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 you're just the chef. <laughs> like you're you're the head chef, and then yeah, like yes. yeah. So basically, you feed him, and then you head back to the uh, to the um, to the shelter with him. Yep. Okay. If you don't if you don't require a roll, then yeah. No, no, just, that's just... fine. Yes, I make sure he gets a nice a nice meal. I say nice. He gets a filling meal. He gets a filling um, meal. Yes. Him, also, which for him, that... to anyone who is homeless is a nice meal. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And he um, um, and you know, of course, he's a he's a he's he's. Um, He's kinfolk, so he's familiar with the gift. Yes. And, yeah, you just uh, yes, just you just see some bloke spitting into a can full of cigarette butts. You're like, yeah, have this. It's like, mm, I'm not sure, but no, that's good. Lama! Lama. But he right. um he 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 eats the food that he's presented with quite happily, and and uh, and and this is a little more with it after that, obviously. Uh, but I think we shall head back to the others for a moment. Yes, we'll stumble Woo! into whatever fate awaits I mean, them. Boo cracked the code. If you wear pants, you go into the bathroom that has pants, and if you wear no. a skirt, you go into no. the bathroom that has a skirt. Yes, yes this is, if, if Barry, you know, this is, a, yes. This is a conversation about, you know, gender stereotypes and, and clothing choices that I'm not prepared to get into right now. It's so. fine, it's fine. <laughs> no. We, um, we go back to, to City Hall and to the other two, and you do, in fact, manage, with Boo being incredibly sneaky, um, you manage to find your way onto the, um, into the, um, the hall uh, where Council Member Sands has his office. And... Right, and it, hmm. it's the, the it it sounds like there's somebody in there when you get to it. Oh, well, it times to 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 eavesdrop. Um, no, I, I mean it, it's it's not like there's a meeting going on. It sounds like the point is he's in. Oh, like oh. that. Hmm. Question is, do we want him to be in? Because it's probably easier to uh, to rifle through his stuff if he's not in. But 
I mean, just do what we did in in the scar. Have you talked? To, have you talked to him and distract him, and then um, Boo can use her super sneaky skills to literally steal paper from under his nose. That would <laughs> probably work, but now that you said it, I'm gonna butch it so yeah, hard. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Is there perchance like a um, I call them a, 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 an office coffee machine somewhere? Uh, yes. Hmm. I could give him a, a cup of coffee. I think Frankie is looking to be to to be taboo. So, how do we want to approach this? Do you think? Uh, I don't know. That depends on what you want to do. You want to talk to him? Do you not want to talk to him? Well, if he's in league with these people, he's probably some sort of gross, skeezy thing. Um, so, strictly speaking, I probably don't want to actually spend time with him. What um, if he isn't? I think Frankie's pauses and looks at you incredibly. How can he not be? What do you mean? I think he's accepting bribes to keep this hush down that they're de demolishing everything and building a fucking wall. Well... A lot of people work here. Not all of them can be skeezy bad people. Also, do we know that he's the one who took the bribes? Well, he's in charge of the project, as far as I understood, and that lady. He is? That's what I understood. He was in charge of the ongoing debates, or the ongoing uh, case being debated in, uh, in, in, the, uh, in City Hall on the council. And not necessarily the dude who started it. And and he is. Uh, and it should be said that the that the case that's being debated about this right now is not the original case. This is the protest that you've heard that somebody has brought up a protest about this. So he might actually be the right person to go to after all. Oh, so he might actually be a good. Yeah, I person. think uh, to he counter be... her, like, how can you not be in the well? Maybe they thought you were talking about the protest we heard about. Frankie Frank, has a moment where he just kind of stops uh, computing and then... Oh, that might actually be true. If you keep, you know... Huh. Expecting the worst of everyone, you're gonna miss out on a hell lot of good stuff. Stop sounding like you're wise. <laughs> Stop that's, sounding like you're 90. That's, well, both of those are Barry's job. That's unfair. His voice is destroyed. Alright, here's the plan. I'm gonna go talk to him. And if he turns out to be, like, nice and shit, um, we'll see where it goes. And if he turns out to be not nice at all... I'll figure out a way to get him out of the room and you search it for the papers we need. Uh, okay. Yeah? Sure. What papers do we need? Um, well, <laughs> uh, proof this is going on, I guess. And, uh, uh, I have a general question for you, yeah. foreign key. Have you ever bothered teaching her to read? Yes, but probably <laughs> not well. Just, just making sure, because, you know, she's like, what, five at this point? <laughs> and I, being a wolf, you don't really start the first 13 years of your life, you know, learning how to read. Yep. No, I, I imagine... So it was uh, a fair question. Well, if, if, if everything goes wrong, just take all the papers in his office. And folders with papers in them. Especially those. But won't that be a lot of them? Yeah. Do you really want me to take all of them? I mean, you, you can probably carry it, then pop into the umbra and uh, get out of here. You think he'll have something reflective? It yeah, probably has a computer screen. Just turn it off. 
Okay. Or a window, for that matter. Okay. Alright, are we ready? This is where he has one of those newfangled things that is like matte, so they're not actually <laughs> reflected. Yup. <laughs> Alright. She goes hiding what? behind a fucking living room plant. Alright. And uh, Frankie knocks on the door. And a... Um... Uh, a young woman comes over and, and opens. Uh, she looks like your archetypical secretary. Oh my god, does she have the secretary bun? Yes, and glasses. And the skirt? Yes. And, oh my and god. And the fucking, like, fake smile? Uh, no, she more looks like somebody who's been working 60 hours this past week and could sorely do with a break. Oh my god, does she have horn rim glasses? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, hi. Hello, uh, can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, would you, uh, would, would you let uh, Mr. Sands know that I'm here on behalf of the St. Benedict's Shelter for the Homeless? Oh, yes, most certainly. I think he would like to meet with you. Uh, give oh, me a moment. So. He, she goes into the office, and it only takes a, a few moments, and then she comes back. And she's like, "Yes, please, please, do come in." <laughs> Frankie looks a little surprised, and then hurries. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. And you are led into God. the the office behind the office, so to say. So his his actual office. Yeah. Um, and this gentleman is there. Hello. He looks slightly constipated. Oh. What he does? An anti-corruption platform. I, I think Frankie likes the sound of that. Not that she knows. But... No, no. But he, he stands up when, when you enter and, and moves forward to extend a hand. And uh, and he uh, he smiles and, and says, uh, from the shelter, I hear? Oh, yeah. hi. I'm, I'm Frankie Darrow. Pleased to meet you, Miss Darrow. Um, I'm Rupert Sands, uh, member of the city council, uh, such as, such as it is. Please, please have a seat. Uh, tea, coffee, uh, something cold um, to drink. Um, uh, uh, tea. Yeah, sure. Certainly. Uh, do you take anything with it, or just plain? Uh, plain is fine. Plain is fine. All right. He he nods to the secretary, and she smiles and. And goes to get um, uh, a couple of of cups. So you you get a, a a cup of tea, and and he has he has coffee, and um, and he sits yeah. down opposite from you and says, "So, I have been wanting to meet someone from the shelter, but to be honest with you, I didn't think I haven't had much luck reaching out to Mrs. Wilson. She's been so busy that I don't think she trusts us up here at City Hall very much. And honestly, I can't blame her. Yeah, I'll, uh, I, neither can I. Um, but yeah, with everything that's happening, she's been very busy. Um, in, in, in all honesty, I... I mean, I'm not in the sense that I, I work there, more that I'm a, a um, what do you call that? A, a user of the facilities? All the more reason why I would like to talk to you. It's your life being affected by this. Well, not just mine. I'm no, probably one of the few who will get off on the easy side. Well... The way I see it, nobody in your situation is going to get off on the easy side with that. And let me just start by saying that if I had my way, we would be doing a lot more than we are in the city of York for people with no homes. But it, unfortunately, like everything else, I need to be able to count a majority in there to be able to get any help past and that is not easy but I will be damned if I let 
one of the only homeless shelters in the entire York area be torn down for a shopping mall. We have plenty of those already. I've got to say that is a relief to hear, that someone's actually on our side. If they want to build a shopping mall, couldn't they at least have done so outside of the actual city centre, the historic city centre? Yeah, I'm surprised that's going through. Yeah. Isn't the whole thing, like, historical and supposed to be preserved? Mm-hmm, he says, and looks at you with a... This is something I'm not allowed <laughs> to confirm, but I'm just confirming it anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Look on his face. Yes, grumble, grumble. Mm -hmm. hmm. Suffice to say, I'm not alone in there in wanting to do this, but there aren't enough of us yet. Yet. I'm working on every single councilman I think can be swayed. Well, I am not a politician. Um, but I'm guessing it's a matter of making it more appealing to be on our side than not. Yes, in a, in a word it is. But the thing is, the only way to appeal to these people is to appeal to their better natures. Because there are those... There are those on the council who will say, oh, but the shopping mall will bring in jobs and money, and what do the homeless bring in? Nothing. But this is about lives. This is about human lives. Right. And if, if they want to set up a shopping mall in York, I'll vote for it somewhere else. Just not there. Yeah, that would be nice. Not not there. Um, the thing that confuses me, he says, is if they wanted this so badly, there is prime real estate that they could build this on right next to the railway station. That does sound like a good place for a mall. It does, doesn't it? Instead, they want to tear down buildings and go through the, the process of digging up the and we know what happens every time somebody digs into the underground in, in York somebody bumps into archaeological finds it just can't be avoided mm. and then it'll take years before anything gets built anyway so even if they do, and this, this isn't local legislation protecting that, that's, that is, you know, that's the, that's the government coming in there saying, you know, you will not build anything until this has been properly uh, uh, excavated. So, right. so even if they tear down St. Benedict's and, and the other buildings in that area, they're not going to be able to build their mall for probably three, four years. Well, then I suppose if they still want to do it, either it's about getting rid of us or there's something they really want. Yeah, but... What? I mean, I know that there are people out there who look down on 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 the homeless. We, we're... You know, neither you nor I are blind to that fact, I think, he says. Mm. But it would take a certain kind of sadism to tear down a homeless shelter just to get rid of it I mean isn't that kind of the movement with all the newfangled hostile architecture all over he, he winces when you mention those things <clears throat> yes I suppose it is he says I mean I hear tent cities in these days Maybe we should go some, find something like that. Let's focus on keeping St. Benedict standing instead of tent cities. I very much prefer that. Hmm. I don't suppose it's possible to have someone... I mean, you mentioned archaeological founds. Mm -hmm. um, could, uh, you can't do a pretest for that, can you? 
I mean, I could contact Jorvik and, and ask them, but strictly speaking, it's on the other side of the Ouse River, so the, the Viking settlement is not really... It, it, it wouldn't be Viking if they find anything, but... At least I don't think so. I, I can try. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to get a hold of someone at the British Museum or similar for them to come and, and, and investigate, but they would have to see some pretty solid evidence that there's something to... That, you know, that there's a reason for them to turn up, so to say. That makes sense. But if someone found something, that would delay everything. That would delay everything, yes. In but fact, wouldn't you have to, like, tear down stuff anyways to dig it up? I believe archaeologists today are... They are... They don't tear down existing buildings to dig for something. What they will do is, if it has to be torn down anyway, then they will work there. Right, but since, strictly speaking, it is going to be torn down anyways, exactly. finding something wouldn't be a good idea then. Now, finding something would still mean that they wouldn't be able to start building right away. So that would be one way of buying time. Yeah, quite a lot of time, and probably putting, I mean, these Sonderbau jerks, he says, and, and looks... Frankly, not so emphatically. I mean, the whole thing, I know that, that, that they're about being quick and, and efficient and all that, he says, but look, as I told you before, this is about human lives, mm. and they don't seem to care much for that. Well, I suppose that's one way of being efficient. A gross way. Yeah, very much so. Look, my point in all of this, he says, is I am definitely... I am trying to help. As right. best I can. But if you come across anything that would help me, please let me know. I definitely will. And I, of course, if you find something that we can help you with, I mean, we've already kind of done that bit I will, of research. I will make sure to to leave a message at the uh, at the shelter. Yeah. Um. So, hmm. Well, you're not like a doctor, so you don't actually have to not say anything. But if I ask you a question, could that like stay between us? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. uh, why is it that there's no records of this online? Because sometimes when something is deemed sensitive, there is no, there is made no uh, online record of it until a certain period of time has passed. I don't know why some of my colleagues requested that this be made a sensitive uh, uh, um, issue. Right. But I believe it has to do with the fact that it, 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 it doesn't look good for re-election purposes for someone to... Sure, they will get a few votes from 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 the the from the same kind of people who support hostile architecture, but there are good people out there who will not take kindly to uh, to their councilman having voted for a shopping mall, which would put homeless people in dire straits. Yeah, and I suppose the people who actually like the historical city. That as well. Even, and there are a lot if, of those in York. So, if something like this was, I don't know, accidentally leaked to the press. Yeah, I have considered doing something like that, but there's no way for me to do so without it coming back to me. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm nobody. True. Well, you're not a nobody because everybody is somebody, but you're not a council member, so... 
My problem, of course, is that there's nothing online, so I can't really get my hands on anything. Uh, no, no, you're you're absolutely right. He says and and uh, and reaches out for some some paperwork that he's got on the. No, there's. That's the problem. He says there's there's nothing online. Um, and he he puts the papers back on his desk, like side by side. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I need to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Of course. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I, I'm of course going to see what he put, for, put forth. He has basically put down paperwork that uh, indicates three members of the city council who have requested that the the, uh, the, the by with names of these three people um, who requested that that the uh, the ongoing dealings about the tearing down of the whole area be treated as sensitive and he um, and he's also there's also a uh, a letter another letter um, from from uh, uh, Sonderbau, uh where they regret they basically write and, and 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 we regret that you have not taken us up on our uh, on our generous offer. Um, oh dear. And um, uh, it it doesn't mention money specifically, but generous offer is is a pretty damning uh, uh, turn of phrase. It is, and um, and a few other snippets of, of you, you're pretty sure that an investigative journalist is going to look at this like a wolf will look at a raw steak. So I'm going to do two things. And first, I'm going to snap a picture of all of it so I have a backup. Yes, and um, then I'm just going to maybe make its way into uh, a shirt. Yes, I mean. I don't know where it came from. Just a sneeze, and then suddenly the papers in you know and your stuff. Like, oh, how clumsy! Yes. Um. Give me then, a wits plus uh, streetwise roll. I will give you that. Uh, let's see, wits, which I have average of. Um, Streetwise, which I actually have something in. Difficulty? Difficulty is six. Two yep. successes. You are pretty sure that in this particular case, he can get in trouble if the papers are actually missing. Yeah, I was considering. Does he have, like, a copier in his office? Yeah, he does. Well, he's got a printer, but, you know... It's, you can use that yeah, as a photocopier, so yeah. Yeah, I'd about to say most most office printers. And speaking, yes. speaking, speaking as a mem speaking as a, as a worker at a council, most printers in in civic buildings have a photocopier installed in them as standard. Exactly. Yeah, I was I was considering if I should nap them or copy them. I'm going to copy them. Yeah. Yes, that would get um, less trouble. And then it's probably also a wise move for you to be out of his office by the time he comes back from the bathroom. In that case, as soon as I have the freshly baked papers, yes. I will um, I will exit yeah. and um, I give the secretary an excuse about I need to move my car before I get a fine. Yes, yes, of course. And she's like, yeah, um, she she gives you a bit of a smirk because uh, 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 for for the idea for most homeless people to actually own a car is is a bit weird, but but yeah. you know. She's she's um, she's with you on that. She's clearly uh, on the same page as her employer. Yes. So you take off. I do, uh, and I also find Boo. Yes. Hopefully, unless she's wandered off, because that's actually the real risk of that. Let's see if we lost Aya. Hmm. Are you there? Sorry. I just wanted to be sure because uh, Frankie is coming back out. 
Okay. And I wanted to, I wanted to know if you were still there or. Well, since I lost focus, uh, there is you know a non-zero chance that you know Boo is somewhere else at this point. That's what I figured. That was never given that you know. Okay, come in and do this thing. So she's forgotten for a long time ago. Oh yeah. And yeah, is yeah. now wandering around looking at stuff. Boo has gone off looking for for interesting stuff. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a way to get revenge on the spider. Then, uh, nah, first... she's already forgotten all about the spider. <laughs> Fair enough. Then my uh, my first uh, order of business is to find Boo. Yes. Well, Boo. that is going to be. I would say that it's probably easier for you than it is for many others because you kind of know her. So you, you, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let you find Boo after a bit of a frantic search. Um, you, you find Boo near the uh, cafeteria. Makes sense. If it smells of food, yes, she's there. Oh yes, it definitely smells of food. I will, um, I will put my hand on her shoulder. Boo. Hi. Hi, um, I think now would be a good time to visit a friend of ours. But first, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you do? You should okay. come with me. Oh. <laughs> he looks back at the cafeteria. Do I have to? <laughs> yes, anyone watching this obvious exchange thinking, is she taking in into the bathroom to do something illicit? Well, I, I thought um, I thought now would be a good time to visit our old friend York. It's like she's having a big issue there because York is good at giving her bones, but this already mm -hmm. smells like food. Also, you have to pay for that food. Fine. <laughs> 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 okay then. <laughs> um, so so yeah, I should like to find a bathroom. All right, you do so. You find a bathroom. Who confidently walks into the bathroom that wears pants? I drag her into the one with the skirt. But I'm not wearing a skirt. You're with me, and I am. That doesn't make any sense. Neither does your system. What? One is wearing pants and one is wearing a skirt. One is a symbol for man and the other is a symbol for a woman. That's silly. Men can wear skirts. Yes. I've seen so in Scotland. They all wear skirts. They made us. That they made the, the the symbols a long time ago, and now everyone just knows what it is. Silly system. Ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, this is a service announcement. We are, in fact, at Charisma to AC, aware that a kilt is not really a skirt. <laughs> yeah, but you try explaining that to a lupus. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. No, I, 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 I trust any Scottish listeners to understand in good faith that that's yes, not yes, in Yes, absolutely. Exactly. Because yeah, it's all in, in, it's all in good fun. Absolutely. But yeah, it's. But it is hilarious to watch Boo. <laughs> Boo's logical progression in this situation. Boo, Boo being Boo is is huge fun. Yes. Yeah, I can kind of see try to explain to a lupus why it's supposed to do things. Weird so gendered funny. ideas. Definitely. <laughs> yep. So. And um, I should like to enter the Umbra. Yes. And I will spend the willpower to get a success. Yes. I'm not confident. Uh, do you want me to roll? Yes, please. Difficulty is still uh, at seven. It's a uh, busy weavery place. Oh, well, I, sh I should have just kept that roll. Whee! And Boo manages to. I follow well. you. Takes a little longer for Boo, but she's also distracted by the thought of food. Yes. Yes. Food. Right. Food. And I'm leaving behind the food. So, yeah, it's weird to her. Let's pop over to the other two again, while now that you have entered the Umbra. Yep. And you were taking... Um, taking Pete back to the shelter. Taking Pete back to the shelter, mm -hmm. yes. And you get there, uh, you know, without any fuss or, or trouble or anything. 
Um, and, and it turns out that he is, in fact, able to step sideways using that, that uh, talon that he's, that he's wearing, or that it's, it's probably not a talon, it's probably a, a, a sort of very strange fetish. Yes, but the point <clears throat> is that, um, you know, um, I think, no, the point is that, um, I'll put it this way, um, Barry, obviously, as we make the step, um, obviously has his mirror shades, and when we both pass through, he basically looks to, um, he looks to, um, to Pete with with his, you know, that classic glass, the glasses down, looking over the top thing. Yeah, and he smiles and says, "I think yours is cooler." Thank you. He, um, and he he heads he heads into the to the. Um... Uh, the shelter when you get there, and he's he's um, immediately received by Mrs. Wilson, who's oh yeah, <laughs> hugely relieved to see him. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 then he is, you know, where have you been? Where have you been? And oh no, don't you don't have to tell me. I've just been so worried. And and you know, mm-hmm. the, she fusses over him and makes sure he gets something to eat. And, and yeah, he but may the... just have eaten, and he may, strictly speaking, be full. But it's a free meal, so he's not going to say no. No, he's absolutely. also not allowed to say no. I'm pretty sure. Like, no, like, no, 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 no. yes, yeah, so she, she can't. She can't say, "Oh, no, no, Barry made me something," because that that that, mm, that raises questions that Barry's not prepared to answer. Precisely. Uh, but yeah, so basically, as she said, as 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 he, she leads her off, he basically says, "You know, glad we can help out, Mrs. Wilson." Oh, thank you so much. No problem. You take care of yourself, Pete. I will. I'll see you. See ya. Make sure of it. And then he basically turns to um, to Molly. All right, let's go find the others and share what we found. Maybe they've got something useful on their end as well. Let's hope so. Oh, I'm sure they have. They're a resourceful pair. Even if Boo's a little bit uh, easily distracted, I suppose. I was gonna say did see, but yeah, sure. What me? Never. Mm. Yeah. So basically, the plan is to try and find a meet up. Yes. And mm. the other two, I'm assuming, will be staying in the Umbra for a little while, but popping back out. So it, it is possible, I would guess, for you guys to actually meet. Yep. Okay. In that case, I'll just get straight to the point where we do. Yeah. Hey there. Hi. Gonna go, okay? Oh, uh, you turned off, Rasmus. We can't hear you. Hey there, and oh yeah, and, uh, in that order, yes, yes. Uh, we're just about to go see uh, Old Man York. Oh, all right. All right. We'll, we'll come with you then. Did you? Um, uh, good news. We found Pete. He's actually well. I say, physically, he's fine. Emotionally, he's a little bit distraught. The um, Sonderbauer's doing more than just coming after our shelter. They've been tearing down old houses in a, in a different area of York and building up new buildings and one of those was his sister's old place from when she was alive. And Well, there's a few things about him we didn't know even though he was kinfolk. He's got a, he had a gift from Roderick that allowed him to step sideways like we do, but he didn't take the news of Roderick's passing very well. He mentioned yeah. um, he mentioned going to City Hall himself to ask about the uh, the situation, and said he met with someone named Sands. Yeah, I mean, is that who you met? I assume you met someone when you went there. Yeah, I, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Molly has this like weird look on her face as you say that that name. Mm-hmm. Yes, no, because it, 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 I yes, I even I picked up and it does sound like Sands, and I. And my player Chris is thinking, uh, 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 and yeah, exactly. Yes, and, yes but you, you meet. I you mean, meet, if we can you, get him on side. Yes, you, you meet the councilman, and it's a smiling, chubby, ske- short skeleton in a hoodie. Um, no, yeah, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not Sans. And um, but anyway, point is that um, yeah, he swiped something from uh, from Sans. That's a letter. Um. Oh. And he shows it, and it's it. And obviously, 
you will know since you saw the one where he he turned down um, or was ignored their offer that um, this is the letter that uh, they were saying. It is we regret your choosing not to follow our generous offer, Malarkey, in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, since you showed your mind, I guess I'll show you mine. Uh, oh, wait, oh. Wait. yes, yeah. steady on. You know that. I'm you know, sorry. I'm just in a good mood for once. Yeah, you know. Fair All right. Well, obviously, talks went well. So he's not. He's not. We don't suspect him of being duplicitous, then. Uh, no. The only thing he's guilty of would be to carelessly lay important documents out on his table while he had a guest, and then having a small bladder. Oh, I see that kind of um, that kind of fella. Yeah. Right. So. Right. And what else did you learn anything about what's going on in terms of them doing all this? Well, everyone's mighty busy keeping it secret, so obviously we need to go and spill it to the press. That's why I have documents and pictures. Yeah, that's be good. We've got all this together. As long as we don't end up incriminating him, that that would be fine. Yeah, uh, that's why I made copies of his documents, so he still has them. Mm. Also, yeah. um. It would be mighty convenient if we could uh, just so happen to find something of archaeological value um, because that would put a whole wrench in their plans for a long time. Oh, I mean, it's York. If I, you could let you could let Boo loose in the in the in the in the backyard at uh, at St Benedict's, and you'd and she'd find some some sort of goblet or something buried there. Yeah, I was thinking if we want something significant to just so pop up or, you know, a, a good guide to where we could find something, we yeah. better to ask than York itself. Hold on a minute. You said that if they found something of value down there, it'll put a, what, it'll put a hold on building. Uh, yeah, if it's if it's big enough, then the, the the law says that that they have to actually figure out what it is and all that before anything can be done. I mean... You don't think Sutton de Bow and Pentex knew that, did you? Sure. It's... Yeah, sure they did. So what it I mean, what were they hoping to grease or pumps to get around it or Probably yes. Or Or what if that's he he basically looks at you with a moment of of slightly dawning horror like What if there's something meant to be something buried under that land that they're trying to get at in the first place? What if there's? What if they know about something of power that's of use to them that they that's under that land that they need to get to? Well, what, like, like a like a buried worm spirit or something. Something, um, well, maybe, or maybe something that they can corrupt or turn to you to aid their whatever it is. But I mean, it's just speculation. I don't know. But well, you do know who might know. Like, yeah. Well, it's it's, it's kind of like uh, I don't know, spirit power to look on the ground because honestly, that would be fucking useful right now. Can I we mean, be friends with all spirits? Is that how that works? Just, I mean, maybe if you can find some around it. But even if, even without that kind of power, old man York is old man York for a reason. He might, you know, about the history of some of what's buried around here. That's actually a way easier solution, and I can't believe I thought of that. I didn't think <laughs> of that. Don't worry, I did. Uh, what's the opposite? I, I don't know. That's the thing. I'm too much of an old man to know this. If there's like an opposite to Boomer, is it Zuma? Is that correct? Or uh, yeah, that uh, yeah, be. Zuma is kind of the opposite of Boomer. Okay. To which, so so if 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 Barry were to look at at, um, at Molly at that point and just say, "Okay, Zuma," <laughs> <laughs> and just revenge, yeah. how no, momentary no, 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 it may no, no, be. No, I was muted. Accidentally what? muted. Okay. Uh, I wasn't being muted, that's why. Alright, um, so... I, 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 think, I think Molly just looks at him and goes, that really doesn't work on you. No, but it, no, but it felt good anyway. Mm. Alright, let's go Next find you'll him. start wearing the cap backwards, thinking the 90s are back in. I mean... I don't really want the 90s to be... Well... I don't really remember that much of the 90s. I mean, I remember it was sort of all right being a kid before the home life got bad enough I had to run away. But otherwise, yeah, it's not. It's... 
But yeah, there was. Never mind. Let's just let's just go find old man York. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to get all, to get all <laughs> sentimental while we're trying to work here. Hmm. All so right. Off we go. So <laughs> you head off and find uh, in in search of of old man York, and I think that we are going to talk to him next time. That's yeah. Fair. That's fair. By, by the way, before before you finish up. Yes. The the phone I am holding and like doing the LP with is now getting like viciously attacked by this cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's like mine. This is mine. This is mine. If yeah, I cannot control it, I will destroy it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard a slight purr, so I, yeah. I believe yeah, you. Exactly. She, yes, she, I mean, she is purring all over this phone. Yes, I mean we're used to Aww. Aya's. We're used to Aya's um, cats uh, rubbing up on the microphone every now and then. So yeah. It anyway. still does, but my new microphone doesn't actually catch anything but my voice. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. that is it for this week, and you get three XP for this. Ooh. And, um, and I will be seeing you for more uh, hijinks with these lovely, lovely werewolves next week. Um, and for the viewing audience... We hope that you will join us for that as well. And uh, from us here at Charisma to AC, from uh, from all of us here at at um, yeah. uh, it's a dog's life. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.